Well, this is our kitchen, and that's why we are uh, putting the hive in the living room, actually. Because if we put it here, it would take up half the space on the counter, and it's just not ideal. We, uh, while we're waiting, <laughs> we actually bought some worms. Um, I mean, they're, they're good, but look at the packaging. We don't really like that, the plastic. Um, we're not really even sure what's in the sauces they marinate them in. So, uh, really, the reason for getting the hive in the first place is you are completely controlling what these worms eat, what goes into them, what you put in them, everything. This, I'm really not sure. To be honest, it could be not, well, ento-vegan. <laughs> so we are ento-vegans. We didn't invent that term. Uh, we got it from entovegans.com or entovegan.com, sorry. And um, it means you're vegan, except for the only way you're not is you eat insects. And you know, most uh, scientific research says they don't feel pain, they're not sentient. There's a lot of gray area there, but it's a moral choice that we've made um, as far as impact on the environment and things like that. It's so much better to eat insects than to eat animals. So this is the first uh, bug meal I've made in quite a while. Uh, our worms aren't ready yet, so we had to buy some. But we've got some bamboo worms over here. I'm sorry, I'm honestly not sure what uh, what kind of bugs these are. They look like silkworms. The label's in Chinese, I'll have to translate it later. But uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, steam these potatoes uh, until they're soft. And then I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer with the worms. And then we'll see how it goes. It's our first time air frying insects, so it's going to be really interesting to see how they turn out like that. I put in some soy sauce, some garlic powder, and uh, some salt, and a little bit of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is pretty much vegan crack. It's what vegans put on like all their meals to have a good source of B12, some iron, and a lot of different um, vitamins and things like that. And it's delicious. This is our air fryer. We normally don't keep it in the kitchen because it's huge, but I put it in for now. Um, I added an onion to this mix, a little more garlic powder. If I wasn't lazy, I'd use fresh garlic. <laughs> but this is just a kind of a trial run, so. The smell is uh, something we're gonna be getting used to. It's like an earthy undertone. It's not unpleasant. It's just not necessarily something you really expect to smell in your food very often. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's really, really hard to explain. Not bad, just new. So I'm gonna turn this on. It's on 200 degrees Celsius. This area right here is being blown with heat at a like really high rate. And I'm gonna put this in here and set the timer. I'll do about 15 minutes and then after that I'll stir it up and uh, put it in. And the cool thing about it is you can just keep opening it up, uh, kind of stir it around, put it back in, and it's just really nice. You don't have to use any oil. Okay, let's see. Looks pretty good. Awesome. It's like, um, it's crunchy because it's been in the air fryer. Not slimy, but satisfying. And, uh, I mean, it could be, it's mixed with the potatoes. It just tastes like it could be another vegetable or anything else you would just, you would cook in a stir fry, so. If you're uncomfortable with the, the shape of the worm, all you have to do is just grind it up and use it as a powder or something like that. No problem. Well, this is how it came out. Uh, nice and crunchy. I ended up putting some Ento Vegan Cheese in it. It's, uh, it's vegan cheese from exceedinglyvegan.com, but uh, with a little buggy twist to it. And while that was melted, I mix it up in this uh, kind of air fried stir fry. So we've got your silkworms, your potatoes, an onion, and vegan cheese. Yum. Next time, we're gonna be making this recipe with our own homegrown mealworms, thanks to Livin' Farms and The Hive.